Let me see if I got this right. Brianna Taylor gets killed because she's selling drugs. And her boyfriend's selling drugs. And the story about how she got killed was a complete fairy tale narrative saying she was asleep in her bed, that she was an EMT. Her name was on the warrant. They did knock before they went in, even though they had a no-knock warrant. They were shot at first through the door. They returned fire. The other guy that was there dove behind her. She got hit because she was wide awake and getting right in the action. Then after all this, her name's used again and again and again along with this false narrative that she was an EMT asleep in her bed. You know, maybe four years ago, but the last four years, they had a jacket on her. So it wasn't like just a random thing either. She was moving so much dope that they had a case file. They had CIs, they had audio, they had video, and they had enough evidence for a no-knock. So they spun this to say she was just an EMT sleeping in her bed, right? So it was bad enough that that was like the second or third most powerful name behind George Floyd to uh, agitate these protests. But now anybody didn't know before now knows this isn't true. And on top of all this, city does an incredible thing and gives her family $12 million for wrongful death, setting a terrible precedent legally for every city that's ever had a criminal die as well as what was the point because it didn't fucking didn't take care of them they're not happy they said they're going to continue to do more shit and they're going to continue to do more shit so if all of that isn't enough then in louisville just two days ago a man named michael rines wearing a shirt that said justice for brianna taylor walked into a bar that was owned by a police officer and randomly shot three men. The shooter and the victims didn't know each other. The, vic the shooter didn't know the bar owner. It was just completely random. I haven't even seen it on YouTube yet. A commentary on it by somebody else who probably makes better videos than me. He came to the bar. He was crawling around outside in the bush. They picked him up and he had a big ass smile on his face while they were arresting him and they've even got a picture of him with a big smile on his face as they are arresting him. The victims was the fiance of the bar manager. All three of them worked together. Mainstream media, nothing. Of course, if this guy was wearing a mega hat or any other thing that could be affiliated with any part of the right, whether it's the crazy religious right or the Trump right, which I said before is really more like the independents or the Proud Boys or the Patriot Prayer or any kind of mega gear, any anything. Anything like that, boy, they wouldn't stop running this till election day. A known BLM activist with a Justice for Brianna Taylor shirt. Remember what I said about trying to keep it together and trying to see both sides? So what's this do? More random violence. And, for what it's worth, random violence against white people. How are you, BLM playing devil's advocate like they give a fuck what anybody else thinks. How are you going to get anybody to come to the table and sit down when you might blow their fucking head off? Because all that we're seeing is example after example of random violence, whether it's from people who just feel like, fuck it, I'm going to do it because I can get away with it, or whether it's from people who are actually affiliated with the organization. I gotta tell you, I'm getting fucking tired of this. Whenever I'm walking down the fucking street, if anybody even gets too fucking close to me, I'm ready. I'm not taking no fucking chances. I'm still trying to be open-minded, but I'm not taking no chances. I'm not playing this, uh-oh, here comes a black guy coming the other way. I don't want to act like I'm fucking concerned, so I'm just going to be all... No, I'm going to act like I'm fucking concerned. And I'm going to make sure that I know who that person is and that they are a fucking good, normal person, not a fucking potential random murderer. You guys are causing this. Forget that. 